Hey guys, this is the first time I've talked to you since the new year, so I hope everyone is having a great new year so far. And as you see, it is snowing here today in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's actually been icing throughout the night and continuing to snow today. So we are snowed in today. We won't be leaving the house for anything. So I'm going to be sharing with you today some footage that I started yesterday where I went through the fresh food that I already had in my house and then also a vegan grocery haul to show you the types of foods that I eat for long-term health. And I'm also going to be sharing with you everything that we eat today on a snow day. I've got a bunch of bananas. Many of them are ripe enough to go ahead and freeze for smoothies. Aloe vera leaf. Green beans. Huge nopal cactus petals. Lemons, apples, oranges and watermelon along with some frozen strawberries, blueberries, and grapes that I have in the freezer. When freezing bananas, I wait until they are very ripe with lots of brown spots. Then I peel them, break them up into little chunks that are easy to blend, and freeze them on a flat tray. And once frozen, I then transfer them to a plastic bag. In case you were wondering, yes, you can eat cactus, and it's actually very healthy. It regulates your blood sugar, it helps with weight loss, and several other benefits. So I would recommend looking into those. It is somewhat hard to find in stores. I usually buy it from International Foods, and I have occasionally seen it at Whole Foods. But I would just check around, ask around in your area. This is definitely something you want to consider adding to your diet. So what I'm doing here is I'm just rinsing it off and then I will scrape off the thorns and cut it into pieces and freeze it and then put it in smoothies. You can also cook it or chop it and put it in salads. Um, I just choose to blend it and add it to smoothies. That way I can get in a large amount and that's just the way that I enjoy eating it. Aloe vera is one of the most healing foods in the world, so I recommend you get some in your life immediately. And what I like to do with it is take the skins off and then I use the insides in smoothies. So I will show you. Here's what it looks like when it's cut open. This clear jelly on the inside. So I'm gonna scrape all of that off and put it into an ice cube tray and freeze it so I can use a couple ice cubes in my smoothies. And I'm actually going to try juicing these aloe skins. So here's the tray of aloe vera and I'm just going to add a little bit of water to kind of hold everything together and make it easy to come out of the tray. So we're on our way to Whole Foods now so I can pick up a few more things for juicing and also just to have a lot more raw fruits and vegetables in the house so I can choose to do whatever I want with a variety of nutritious, delicious, fresh fruits and vegetables. So a lot of things for juices and smoothies and just to snack on. So here's everything I picked up at Whole Foods. So now I have a lot more to work with. So I've got some limes, lemons, cherries, oranges, grapefruit, purple kale, beets, green kale, blueberries, ginger root, turmeric, cinnamon, grapes, carrots, cucumbers, green apples, green kale, and celery. And over here I have a few more items, which some of them I picked up today and some of them I already had. So the Sun Warrior Blend Vanilla is a plant-based protein powder, which I actually do not use every day or all the time. I just add it occasionally. And then I have some detox tea, some aloe vera and wheatgrass drink some coconut water, some tart cherry juice, greens powder, some raw oats, and some raisins. I'm 
going to start the day by juicing these ingredients. So I've got a bunch of kale, three lemons, two cucumbers, two green apples, celery, and some ginger root. This is what everything looks like cut up and ready to go through the juicer. And this should be enough to make two large glasses. So if you are just making this recipe for yourself, you could cut the ingredients in half. And here it is, two full glasses of fresh organic green juice with all of those live enzymes and nutrients. I'm getting ready to make delicious, nutritious meal number two. This is grapefruit, oranges, apples, lemon, carrots, and turmeric. Here's what everything looks like, all cut up and ready to go through the juicer. And again, this is enough for two glasses. Look how awesome it came out, and it tastes really great too. And I will be having mine with some cherries, blueberries, and grapes. Biggs is getting ready to make a vegan chili using these ingredients. So he's got some beans, diced tomatoes, seasonings, vegetable broth, and some ground soy. So this is a meat alternative, it's not real meat. And some olive oil. When cooking with oil, you definitely want to use it sparingly, being that it is an added fat. I personally would just use water and then for the meat alternative you also have a little bit of fat and it is a processed food so you wouldn't want to be eating this every single day however it is still much healthier than eating ground beef or ground chicken or turkey or whatever type of meat you would usually put in a chili this is still much healthier here we have the beans, diced tomatoes, vegetable broth, and chili seasoning pack. And over here is the soy, olive oil, and other seasonings. And make sure you use garlic because it is good for you. And over here we have some brown rice cooking to go with it. So here's the finished product for the Snow Day Vegan Chili. And this is pretty much just a basic chili. So feel free to add any additional vegan ingredients of your choice. I hope this video gave you guys a few ideas of foods that you can incorporate into your diet for long-term health. And my number one tip is to remove all animal products from your diet. So that's meat, dairy, and eggs. Anything that comes from an animal is not serving you any good. And any health benefit that you feel like you need or you receive by eating animal products, you can receive in a much healthier form from plants. So please continue to look into that. And if you are interested in more videos about health, vegan recipes, travel, and other cool things that Biggs and I do on our channel, please consider subscribing.